Hello, I'm Graham Robson, Technical Manager with TAMA. For those of you who know round bales, it's easy to spot the difference between silage, hay and straw crops. However, many of you treat all three crops in the same way when it comes to making the bale. This is often the first step to big problems later on. Today I'd like to share a few points with you that should help you improve the bales you make, no matter which make or model of round baler you use. First, knowing the characteristic of the crop helps to understand what is needed. Think of the crop inside the bale as a coiled spring wanting to expand. Different types of crop will exert different pressures. Grass, for instance, silage, pasture hay or haylage, is a leaf crop, a flat, dead type of crop. Heavy, but not very active, and exerts the least pressure on the net. Typically, two to three wraps of net on a bale of grass is sufficient to keep it secure. Straw, dry stems from a cereal crop, is not as heavy as grass, but much more active when compressed and exerts the greatest pressure against the net. The drier or shorter the straw, the greater the pressure pushing out against the net. Bear in mind, most straw bales are between 1.5 and 1.8 meter in diameter, which further increases the pressure of the crop against the net compared to a grass bale. This is why straw or cereal hay bales need at least three turns and sometimes four turns of net to hold the bale secure. Coarse or heavy stem crops such as maize, corn stalks or rape straw need even more net to hold the bale securely. We recommend a minimum of four turns for such tough crops. Next we should be sure that the baler is delivering the correct amount of net to the bale as intended. The number of wraps set on the monitor is an indication of the amount of net you hope to put on the bale but sometimes this may vary. If the net failed to feed correctly, or the feeding was interrupted during the wrap cycle, the net on the bale surface may be less than expected. It is important, therefore, after making two or three bales, you carefully check the actual wraps of net on the bale, or what you hoped for. If the amount of net on the bale is less than the monitor is set for, it's very important that you compensate for this before you continue. Finally, we should consider how the bale will be handled afterwards to ensure you put the correct number of wraps on to be secure. Bales that are handled many times between the field and farm, or more if transported off site or being sold, may need an extra wrap of net to ensure they withhold this extra handling. This is particularly important if they are handled with a bale spike and scuffed along the ground during loading, which will weaken the net when being moved. So to review, Two to three wraps of net for grass hay or silage bales, three to four wraps for straw bales, and at least four wraps for heavy stemmy crops. These are minimum recommendations, and in case of extreme weather conditions or very short and dry crops, you may want to add an extra turn of net. You've invested in the best net on the market, so make sure you get the best from it. I hope you found these recommendations helpful. Thank you for watching.